Hello everyone and welcome to another video and in this video I just want to show you some improvements regarding this previous script for installation so in previous script on purposely I didn't want to remove installation I did want for user to uh, remove the existing installation and then to add new but okay if you want to have that option now I did include in this update version of the script that is the first thing and also for some reason uh, flexpipe didn't work so when you have some flexpipe uh, this previous version of script didn't work well so okay this is hydronic supply so we have some insulation on, on those pipes and we have flex pipe and now we want to test this update version of the script if that works so it's a hydronic supply some insulation type so okay we did remove previous insulation let's see thickness 35 25 15 and 5 and also we did add this insulation for flex pipe okay let's try over here where we don't have insulation so it's a hot water and it looks okay now let's see what is the change between those two versions so this is the entire script over here i did make some update and this time i did also use clockwork okay so entire user interface remained the same everything is basically the same in this part over here okay now let's see this upper part of, over, over here so over here we well let's run the script So okay, over here we have uh, elements on which we can add insulation. Over here we want to uh, get insulation. This is the uh, part from map over package. So uh, this node over here, this node didn't work in this version of uh, map over package. So I did just took that python script okay over here for ventilation we don't have uh, existing insulation so we don't have any values over here uh, also over here I did ask for insulation thickness and because over here we first want to remove that insulation and then we want to proceed with uh, adding new insulation so it is important that at, at first we delete existing insulation and then to proceed with our calculation for the insulation according to, to diameter. So okay, uh, over here we want to have size, we want to have diameter of the pipes, diameter it will not work for fittings but the size it will work. So now from one side we have size and for size you can have any 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 type of string so uh, you can either use some suffix and prefix and that it will show uh, in size so it's very important to handle these uh, values over here properly 
and then okay because for the fittings we need values from uh, the size for pipes we need values from diameter then we will combine everything to some simple if else and while uh, python script so over here we did took uh, values from diameter and we did split uh, values for fitting so now we have everything over here then uh, we will deliver everything over here to comparison to see uh, which uh, diameter responds to which uh, insulation thickness and this part over here remain the same that's it thank you for watching Bye.